which means it shows that this is the master then also here the, on my right side if you see here it's written SL which is that the slave invader so also here when you're connecting what uh, 50 kilowatt you mustn't forget to put this uh, communication cables once you leave this communication cable this the invaders will won't communicate and will actually give you errors like error 80 or error 83 or so that's the common errors which you get if you don't connect these cables. Then also here, inside here, we connected what call uh, automatic changeover switch. So the changeover switch comprises of the priority side and the non-priority side. So at the moment, our solar system that's the priority. Whereby uh, if Zesa comes, it will be now the backup. I mean the utility side. If it comes, it will be the backup at the moment. So our invader that's the priority, which is shows showing the arrow here on the right side. But at the moment, the utility is absent at the moment. It's out. Then also here at the bottom, we've got our AC uh, breakers. This is our AC out, like for the invaders, like AC out one, AC out two, three. Then the mains, which is feeding the changeover, then straight to the house. Then also here, we've got our mains in, which is feeding the, our changeover, our, our a, which is feeding our AVS, the automatic voltage switches, like for AVS for inverter one, inverter two, and inverter three. So that's our AC side. Then here we've got our PV, that's our DC side. We've got our on top here, we've got a SPD1 for inverter 1, SPD2 for inverter 2, SPD3 for inverter 3. Then also our PV breakers for P uh, for inverter 1, inverter 2, and inverter 3. This is in terms of the, if there's any problem, you can easily isolate your PV by just uh, pulling them down. Then also here. Uh, just on the bottom of the invader, we've got our battery breakers, battery disconnectors, which is a 125M breaker. So each invader got, got its own breaker. In terms of if there's any fault as well, you can easily just isolate the, uh, the system using those breakers. Isolate the battery and the invader. So that's why we put these breakers. Then also here, we've got our lithium battery bank which we have about 5 by 100 AH uh, CFE lithium batteries which is a top notch uh, battery yeah so that's the system which we have here at the moment so our system is going to be running stove geysers, lights, fridges, everything which you can really like, have uh, everything like the pool pump as well is going to be running during the day so some of the things they're going to be running in, in, in intervals in order not to drain too, not to put too much, uh, to drain too much uh, on the battery bank in the evening. So some of the things will be off, but during the day they will be running perfectly during the on, on solar system. So that's our system. So feel free to connect us to Sandra Electrical. We are located at the Six Set Kids Arcadia near uh, Coca Cola. So don't hesitate to come for quotations and also installations. 